OK. So consider the following system of equations. x squared minus root of z equals 1, 4x squared plus sine of y minus 2 root of z equals 11, 7x squared plus sine of y minus 3 root of z equals 20. Notice that this system is actually not linear. It is in the variables x, y, and z, but it's not just coefficients, real numbers, times the variables x, y, and z. x squared, root of z, sine of y. Can we still solve for x, y, and z, even though the system is nonlinear? Well, in this case, the answer is yes, and all we can do is make a change of variables. We can let a be x squared, b equals sine of y, and c equals root of z. Let's see what happens after this change of variables. Well, the equation becomes a minus c equals 1. The second equation becomes 4a plus b minus 2c equals 11. And the third equation becomes 7a plus b minus 3c equals 20. And now the system is linear in the variables a, b, and c. And so we can solve for this linear system using row reduction. As always, we first construct the corresponding augmented matrix. We already have leaning one in the leftmost column and top row, so we can use it to kill the entries below. Row two minus four of row one, row three minus seven of row one. We can recopy row one as we're not changing it. Let's apply the first row operation. 0, 1, 2 minus 4 times negative 1 is 2 plus negative 2 plus 4, which is positive 2. 11 minus 4 is positive 7. Second row operation, 7 minus 7 is 0. 1 minus 0, 1. Negative 3 minus 7 times negative 1 is plus 7, so it's positive 4. 20 minus 7 times 1, 13. We have our second leading one for free. We can kill the entry below by doing row 3 minus row 2. We can recopy row 1 and row 2 as we're not changing them. And we can easily get our third leaning one by multiplying row three by one half. Okay, well, as we have three variables, and they are all leading variables, the system has a unique solution, and so we can solve for it naturally using backwards substitution. Let's do it here. Let's first solve for c, so c equals 3. Then we'll solve for b, so b equals 7. There's a positive 2c on the left sent to the right becomes a negative 2c. But we know that c is 3, so we get 7 minus 6, which is quite simply 1. And finally, let's solve for a. a is equal to 1. There is a negative c on the left. On the right, it will become a positive c. But c is 3, so we get 1 plus 3. 
which is 4. And so we can now write in the right order our final answer. The unique solution is A equals 4, B equals 1, and C equals 3. But don't lose track of what the question was. We were trying to solve the original non-linear system. What we have now solved is the linear system that we have obtained after making our change of variables. So we now have to find a way to solve back for the original variables, that is for x, for y, and for z. Okay, well, a was x squared, b was sine of y, and c was root of z. And let's now see if we can solve for x, y, and z and find all solutions to the original non-linear system. Well, if x squared equals 4, then there are two possible values for x. x is either negative 2 or positive 2, and that's it for x. y is a bit more interesting, as sine of y equals 1. So we're looking for angles where the sine is equal to 1. Well, if you think of it, a natural choice is pi over 2, but you can add to pi over 2 any multiple of any integer multiple of 2 pi, and you will return at the very same position. So we'll have an infinite number of answers for y. We write this as y equals pi over 2 plus k times 2 pi, but we must specify that k must be an integer multiple of 2 pi. So k can be any integer value. And finally, if root of z is 3, clearly z must be positive and it must be 9. And this is now the complete solution set to the original non-linear system x either equals negative 2 or 2, z must always be 9, and y can be pi over 2 plus any integer multiple of 2 pi. And that's it. So keep in mind that even though sometimes the system may be nonlinear, there may be a way to make a change of variables so as to make it become a linear system. This you can solve using row reduction, and hopefully afterwards you can solve for the original variables from the non-linear systems. And this was such an example.